Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Morning Markets on Tuesday, the 14th of July. A couple of things that I wanted to share with you this morning that as an investment team we've been discussing here at True Potential. The first of which is just looking at some of the economic data that we've seen over the past 24 hours and specifically looking at data points from China and then from the UK. Firstly, looking at China, we've received trade data, so exports and imports to and from the, the Chinese economy. And if we firstly look at imports, we've seen imports increase 2.7% year on year in the month of June. That's the first positive year on year change that we've seen so far this year. And that speaks to a number of things. One, the slower recovery than maybe maybe some of us would have expected in the Chinese economy post the lockdowns that, that came very early in China to deal with COVID-19. And it speaks to just that, that ongoing tepid nature of the recovery and the fact that these recoveries are, are gradual as, as people's habits and things like that continue to change and evolve. So imports improving, a good sign. And then if we look at exports, exports from China into the, the global economy increased 0.5% year on year. And that's against the expectations where the market was thinking that there would be a further fall in Chinese exports into the global economy. So that speaks to the ongoing reopening of economies and that demand that is there for the goods that China is producing. So that's a positive. Then if we look at the UK, what did we get from the UK today? Well, we had British Retail Consortium data for the month of June to the, the four weeks to the 4th of July, I should say. What does that show? It shows an improvement, 3.4% growth year on year. So consumers starting to move back out into the economy as the lockdowns are removed, a positive sign. Again, we continue to see that trend from previous months of online continuing to take an increasing proportion of the overall spend. And that's something that I think will be fascinating for us all to observe over the coming months and indeed years as to whether some of the changes that have been enforced as a result of dealing with COVID-19 become a new normal, a new way of operating and online becomes a more dominant part of, of the consumption basket. So that's something that we can continue to see and observe going forward. If we then look at GDP data, we saw GDP data for, for May and the GDP improved 1.8% month on month. Now, to put that in some context, in April we had GDP falling 20% month on month. So yes, there's an improvement, but I think one would argue that it's a relatively tepid improvement relative to some of the more significant bounce backs that we've seen in other economies as they've they've reopened. So that's something for us to observe over the coming months, but it also just indicates the challenge that there is of returning the UK economy to, to that pre-COVID-19 growth trajectory. Other things that we touched on this morning was just looking at the equity market performance yesterday and particularly as we discussed yesterday there was a strong performance in Asia. That fed through into both the UK and Europe where we had both markets up over 1% on the day. That continued into the US but interest in the US rallied at the open and then sold off into the close. And indeed, the Nasdaq was up 2% at one point yesterday and did close down 2%. So that just what happened, what caused that? Nothing really that was, was evident. Um, there's no real change in the dynamics around COVID-19, infection rates, hospitalizations. There was no significant change in that. So an interesting trend, something to just watch over the coming days to see whether that is sustained or not. On the political front, we continue to see the ongoing dynamic between China and the US, this tit for tat that, that, that keeps happening over the, the course of the past number of weeks. And that's something that I think we just have to live with. It just seems a, a ratcheting and ongoing ratcheting up of, of the tension between those two countries. That's it for today. Please join us again tomorrow. Thank you.